The Region 6 Police hosted an awards ceremony and luncheon yesterday. More details in this report. The Region 6 Police Department hosted its annual luncheon and awards ceremony yesterday, December 22, 2022, at the St. Francis Community Developers Japanese Hall in Port Morant. In attendance at the event were the Police Commissioner Clifton Hicken, Deputy Commissioner Calvin Brutus, the Region 6 Chairman, Mayors of New Amsterdam and Rose Hall Town, among other invited guests. The opening remarks were delivered by the Police Commander of Region 6, Senior Superintendent Shiv Prasad Bacchus, who reported on the decrease of serious crimes. For the year so far, we would have managed to reduce most of our serious crime, with the exception of break and enter and sexual offenses commission of police. However, as it relates to robbery and arms, where the use of firearms, another instrument that we would have used, we'd have managed to reduce that by the 19% commission. And that itself, I would ask you to give us a round of applause. In the year to come, we would work tirelessly to ensure that this 19% probably double. As it re relates to our drug eradication exercises, we are over a billion dollars in Region 6, Guyana currency of the street. The traffic also, this traffic situation, which was 150% increase in the region, at this time I'm proud to re report that the traffic incident and accidents we are at a minus 11% compared to the figures as a positive numbers. During his remarks, Commissioner Hicken rewarded Commander Bacchus for his arduous work during the year 2022. We are currently enjoying a 19.4% decrease in CS crime overall. Give yourself a round of applause for that. Currently, with the except of two regions, all the other regions in the Guyana Police Force, they're enjoying minus in terms of serious crime in their regions. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Commander, you've been doing well, and I want to applaud this to you, your leadership, and most of all the support you've been getting from your junior ranks, and because of that, I want to admin. Admin uh, seems to be in a good mood. That's right. That's right. Oh, okay. I want to reward you for your good work with a sum of four hundred thousand yeah. dollars. This year's top cop award was presented to Constable Courtney Sampson, who received one hundred thousand dollars cash, a gift certificate, a trophy, and a plaque. During an invited comment with media representatives, he shared these sentiments. The joy, but before you can have joy, you have to work hard, you have to serve. So, it's only for you to enjoy the work, you have to love it. Before you get anything done, you have to love what you do. You can't just join a job because you want to, but in order for you to enjoy a job and help people out there, you gotta love what you do. Everything comes with hard work. A lot of sleepless nights and so on. Sometimes you have to go the extra mile, sometimes you have to walk to get things done. Because there is always a big problem. But as I said in the review, to have what you want, you have to work hard. What made you want to join the police force? Surfing crack. And seeing a lot of drug users out there and how it affects the youths. That is one of the main concepts that motivates me to join the police force. I always plan on working hard because as I said, without hard work you can't get anywhere. Because if you decide to sit back because of an award, then that doesn't make sense. What's the purpose of just, oh you work hard today, oh I got it today, that means that I don't have to work hard tomorrow. You got to continue to work hard. What, so advice, you get... what advice do you give to young recruits coming into the force now? Be dedicated, work hard, don't be corrupt. And protect. The first and second runner-up were Corporal Winston Polaya and Constable Balaraj Budu, respectively. A total of 44 ranks from Region 6 were awarded for their dedication and hard work 
during the awards ceremony. Nurima Ali, Channel 8 News.